everyone, it's Leanne with Lovely Scrappin. I'm here to show you this altered wood plaque that I made for a friend on YouTube and she's just been so kind to me so I really wanted to show my appreciation by making her something and I haven't made an altered plaque before so I thought I'd give it a whirl and if you continue watching I've put together some clips at the tail end of this video to show you the process of putting this together so um, continue watching for that if you're interested um, and I'll just walk you through quickly what I've done. So this wood plaque I got from the dollar store, it was just plain raw wood and I um, painted it with black acrylic paint and then marbled it, did it like a marbling effect with some gold acrylic paint to kind of give it sort of this antique sort of a look. And I did that to the back and I'll put my personal message on here afterwards and I did on the sides as well that's showing and then I covered it with some Les Romantique Graphic 45 designer paper. Uh, which I had distressed along the edges with some brushed corduroy distress ink from Tim Holtz. And then along the edges here, it's some black flat back pearl trim from Carla's Etsy store. And I've put, I don't know if you guys can make that out, it's a bit dark, it's hard to show up, but there's gold stickles in between each of the beads there. And so I've done that all the way around. And then um, on the paper, to give it some dimension, I've added some glossy accents to the roses here in the front as well as the butterfly there and there. And also to give it a bit of dimension to the girl in this picture, I've added, um, I put together some beads for a necklace. So I did like a double necklace there. And in her hair, I put, um, this is a Wild Orchid Craft um, flower from Rebecca, and I'll post her YouTube channel up on the screen. And she gave me a bunch of Wild Orchid Crafts, my very first, I'm so excited, um, in our last swap. So I had to use them, of course. So I put it in her hair and it's layered with a black flower that I got from a bouquet at Michael's. It was just left over from some centerpieces I did for my sister's wedding. And then I just added some feather behind there. So that's her hair piece necklace and then I added, I just cut out some of the butterflies from the paper collection and added some gold stickles there. You guys can make that out, try to focus. Gold stickles in the center of the uh, butterfly bodies. Um, and then I added um, some bling here and as well as here and here. And then uh, these two pink flowers are again Wild Orchid Craft um, little ro mini roses from Rebecca. And this um, is, I'm uh, pretty sure it's an I Am Roses black rose and that one's from Cassie. Yay, thank you Cassie. And I'll put her YouTube channel up on the screen as well. And then um, these flowers here are all Wild Orchid Crafts again from Rebecca. I made this stick pin and um, put some brown feather in the back of that. And I also made this black flower. Let me just try to focus. If you guys can make that out. There we go. So I made that using some organza ribbon and that will be in the tutorial that's going to follow this as well. So check that out if you're interested. And then I just um, put some pearl beads in the center and added, I just cut out smaller leaves from some bigger leaves that were left from um, some bouquets from uh, that I had, just the bigger flowers. And then I added some pearl sprays and just kind of trimmed them up a bit to kind of have them a bit staggered so they weren't all the same length. And added a Tim Holtz at Dodge ticket that says Adore. And I layered it and layered it with uh, UD. But before I did that, I distressed it with brush corduroy distress ink. And then I layered it with the UD. When it was cool, I bent it and cracked it to give it like that nice distressed look there. Very vintage. And then this key here is a Kane Company key, just a flat back key that I um, just glued onto there. Um, this, I think, butterfly is one of the Blue Moon charms. And I inked it up with some caramel and um, as well as the gold mixative alcohol inks. And just put together some beads for the body of it. And then um, took some, just some, uh, what is it, craft wire and curled it like that into uh, the shape of some little antennas and then I um, colored it black with some uh, or a black sharpie. Sorry guys, I'm so tired. Oh. And uh, let's see what else did I do. Um, I think, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I added some cutout butterflies again from the paper collection and added the gold stickles there. And um, then the I put some of this lace here and just tied bows on either side of the hanging piece and it came already with the the uh, black chain so that was perfect so guys I think I covered it all if you have any questions please just let me know either send me a personal message or comment on this video um, otherwise please if you can leave a comment and just let me know what you think um, continue watching guys for the rest of this uh, tutorial and it'll show you how I put it together thanks everybody for watching bye now